Hi guys, Kevin Lee Jacobs here. The recipe I'm going to share with you today is one of my husband's favorites. Of course, I love it too. It's a colorful collection of veggies and salmon fillets that all bake together on a single sheet pan. The dinner cooks to delicious perfection in only 25 minutes and cleanup is a breeze. The first thing you will need is a large baking sheet. Mine is about 12 inches wide by 16 inches long. And for extra easy cleanup, I line the sheet with aluminum foil, but you don't have to. On to the veggies. I happen to love broccoli, so I'm going to use three small to medium sized crowns. We only want the florets, so cut the trunk of the broccoli crown fairly close to the florets and then break them up like this. Throw the florets onto the baking sheet. Two or three colorful bell peppers. I cut bell peppers this way. Straight down the walls. This way the seed pod stays intact and you don't get seeds all over the place. Do the same for the red pepper. Stack the pepper walls two at a time, skin side down, and cut them into thirds. Throw the peppers onto the sheet pan just to keep the broccoli company. Then grab a purple or yellow onion. I happen to prefer purple onions because I think they're prettier. And since this onion uh, was very huge, I cut it in half. And slice the onion half this way into thin demi loons. Put the onions on the baking sheet and give them a light drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. The oil will help the vegetables to color in the oven, to caramelize them so they taste sweet. Put the veggies in a preheated 425 degree Fahrenheit oven and set your timer for 15 minutes. Be sure to compost your vegetable scraps. Then whip up the marinade. Add one third cup soy sauce or tamari sauce. I'm using gluten-free tamari sauce. Add one tablespoon of cornstarch. Cornstarch is really important. Um, it's, uh, I need a whisk. The cornstarch coats the salmon and keeps it from drying out in the oven. I actually overcooked my salmon one time and it wasn't dry at all because it had the cornstarch coating. Then whisk in three tablespoons of either white wine or white wine vinegar or rice vinegar. Also whisk in three tablespoons of olive oil. And for a little heat, something called sambal olek. And what this is, is a chili paste. It's not terribly hot, but it does have a little bit of heat. I think it's just perfect for both chicken and fish. And there we go, our marinade is complete. Next, grab either two or four salmon fillets. These are center cut fillets and they're about five ounces each. So one fillet per person. And in they go. And flip them over just to make sure both sides are coated. And let the salmon marinate while the veggies are cooking. 
The oven is dinging, so the veggies are ready for the salmon. I'm spacing mine out a bit. And then take your marinade and just drizzle it over all of the veggies. This way you won't have to add any salt or pepper because this is a very flavorful marinade. This goes into the oven for exactly 10 minutes. I'm going to microwave some frozen brown rice that I bought at the supermarket. It will make the perfect accompaniment for the salmon and veggies dinner. And it only takes four minutes to cook in the microwave. In case you're wondering, Pouilly Fissé is the correct wine to serve with this meal. And here's our finished sheet pan dinner. And boy, it looks terrific and it smells wonderful. To serve, Put a nice big spoonful of rice in the middle of a plate. Add the salmon filet and surround the filet with the wonderful, beautiful, aromatic vegetables. I think it's time for a taste test. First, one of the peppers. Tender but crisp. Salmon. Mm. Let me tell you, when you coat salmon with that cornstarchy marinade solution, the salmon comes out really creamy. It's like eating salmon flavored ice cream. It's really terrific. You guys, this is so freaking delicious. So don't make me beg you to try it. And if you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post a comment below. And I'll see you next time with another delicious recipe. Bye for now.